It looks like the boy's busy again. What are you doing? Changing the battery. You look behind me, new battery has been purchased. Oh, a Yasa. Big ass battery for a big ass car. Yeah, it is uh, quite large. <laughs> so where's it hiding? Underneath this panel, which can be a little bit of a pain because you've got little runners here. So you've got to try and get it over those a little bit and then pull it down, which isn't always the easiest, but BMW design. <laughs> there we go. And that just pulls out and you've got a lot of wires. <laughs> yeah, a lot of everything. And a big ass battery. Yes. 019 it should be. I assume you take the bolts out on the carriage there and do yeah. little plastic bolts here and then somewhere within there there'll be a bracket holding it down. I think I can actually see it down there. Excellent. So pull that out and then uh, switch it. 10 mil, get them out. Uh, yeah. 10 will just about fit but yeah, yeah. 11 will go all the way down. They're 10. Nothing's ever 11 on German cars. <laughs> well, it'll, they'll work with a 10 or 11 so <laughs> <laughs> the 10 sort of bottoms out halfway the 11 goes all the way down but right <laughs> 10 it is then <laughs> tapered bolts or something i suppose or just because they're plastic oh. and that should pull out as well and we have a battery so bolt here Ooh, let me get in there <clears throat> so there's one that needs to come out and i'll also take this bracket off then I believe just down there is the other one, so to the right hand side of the battery. And then a breather hose just here, which you do need connected, unless you want to die. <laughs> <laughs> it's not advisable. Not advisable, but you've got a vent there, so you're okay. There is a vent there, Yeah. but I don't think that opens unless you uh, open your doors. <laughs> yeah, it's or expansion. Your boot. <laughs> yeah, it's expansion, stop vacuum. Yeah, exactly, but uh, yeah, so I will look at getting those all released and then get the battery out super do find, it find the screwdriver <laughs> someone didn't put it back <laughs> that was you <laughs> so yeah there you go that's what we said little bolt there 10 mil little bolt there 10 mil and then obviously there'll be 10 mils to take the uh, actual battery terminals off 10 10 and 10 Bracket gone. Have a bar, and uh, I'd like a bar. I do have enough to drink last night, I think. I think. Looks <laughs> of it. Yeah, there'll be ten as well. It looks. It's either going to be a ten or a twelve, but I think I'm going to need an extension for that one. So yeah, you'll be fine. fine. You'll be fine. Do you see screwdriver? They won't be tight. Yeah, but it's. Yeah, oh, it's much further down than you think. The battery's quite tall. <laughs> oh right, there's one, down, there's one down there. Yeah. Oh, I got and it. I think that may be a twelve. Uh, I'd say it's a note. That's a thirteen. I'd say. Oh, there's a. Hmm. So there's another one down there. I thought the bar held it, but I was wrong. No. There's a clamp well, down there as well. I'm trying to pull it out. But nah, that's definitely nah, definitely it's held in. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> right. I thought it was so. By the looks of it, that comes out. It's just a shove so you may just be able to loosen it and pull it back and then pull it but uh oh, it's we'll see. that'll be 13. yeah and yes do need an extension <laughs> can't quite reach it i see it shouldn't have to loosen them too much so the side bracket's off was a 13 yeah those are 10. yeah those are there. 10 but the side bracket was 13 yeah side bracket was 13 the one just down there that's now coming loose so uh get the battery off it's possible that is the original one. I think we had a check and we believe it is. Mm. So, we take off the negative first and then we can get to the positive and start removing that. Now this will be a bone of contention on the internet because some people say positive first and I've always done positive first because I was always told when I was training that if you take the positive off you can't then get any power going to the car. <laughs> But then some people say to negative off first. Then you ain't got any body, um, any power going to the body, to the ground. I don't know. I think in all honesty, as long as you're doing it safely and not being a knob, then 
you're probably going to be fine. Yeah. That's nice and easy. It is. <laughs> The problem is, you move it and then the battery terminals, of course, get in the way. Let's see if I can tuck that behind there. There we go. Hey! Doesn't help, there's something down there that's grabbing it. Oh, it's actually stuck in that. I might need your hands to just push this out of the way because. Uh oh. <laughs> I don't want to pull on the wires. <clears throat> Understandably. Oh, nope, there we go. <laughs> it gets stuck. Oh. <sighs> Not the easiest place to get to. <laughs> Brute force and stupidity. Yes. <laughs> as I said, take the wires off safely, but as soon as you get to the actual battery, it starts being a bit of a... Animal. <laughs> so first job, I guess, is the breather. Yes, try and slip it in. And then uh, I'm going to take that out. So that's your... Uh, very dirty brackets, hold it in, so I'll probably give that a quick clean before putting it back. But yes, new battery. So, get it in there. Do you want to set the breather plug out first? Well... No, on the side of the battery, there's a plug, isn't there? There is one. Where is that one? Yeah, they usually have a plug in them. That looks like it just goes straight in. It looks like it's like a more pressure relief thing. So there's a plug on this side, but not on this side. Okay. To me, it looks like it will just go in. So this is the right height, right size. Yeah, you could be right. There we are. Go I for think. it. When I sort of look inside, it looks like it's more push type. Mm. That or maybe it's just exposed. Don't know. Do it. <coughs> I'll leave those on because they, uh, they help. So. to unscrew that. Let's have a quick look at the old battery. Yeah, look at the old battery, you're right. It's just a, a pushing grommet. Yeah. It's gone in then, yeah? Yeah. Excellent. <coughs> just takes a little bit of a... Yes. Another... Uh, uh, <coughs> well, I don't know if that is all in. Now it is, I think. Yeah, yeah that looks in. Should be able to push it up against the, the stop at that end. And yes. Then, yes. Yeah. There you go. So stop that end. It slots into, and then obviously this end will be right down there. That will be where the bracket gets bolted into. That's going to be fun. I think that may just need a bit of magnetation. Magnetation. Hmm. I think I just made up a new word. I was suggesting magnetation. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just made up a new word. Other words are magnet. Yeah. <laughs> so this is going to be a difficult bit getting that aligned. <coughs> but maybe okay. Uh, big bar. Big bar. I might actually swap out for the small bar to see where get a bit more accuracy because a oh, big bar is good on that one as well uh, I might be okay with this let's just see I might uh, can't fit this out can I no I can't use it <coughs> shame we ain't got a smaller one of these for all that but, uh, give me a minute and I can find you one if you got one so you got it in anyway yeah I got it in now I need that magnet <laughs> what are you doing oh he's dropped the socket that's got to be a nice oh, 30 mil Oh, I was going to say it's going to be a 10 mil, but yeah, well, there you go. So the bolt is down there, and you can get it in without too much struggle, apparently. And he's got big fat hands like I have. 
<laughs> it's one of those cases of you uh, you manage to get it in, you're like, oh, that's actually surprisingly easy. And then mm. the sockets a bit that makes it more difficult well, than it needs to be. The good thing is it's a 13 mil. If that's a 10 mil, you'd never find it again. Yeah, but we have found the 13. Yeah, so you can find 13s, but yeah, 10s. No idea where they go. Alright, so that is now battery all fitted, tightened down. So, uh, well, what terminals go on next? Well, personally, I would put the negative on first and the positive. Does it really matter? Well, the thing is, <laughs> if the negative's on, then as soon as you put the positive on, that's when you're going to get the little spark. But if you get a big spark, you know you've took some what. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there will be arguments about it. Oh, there will. No, you put on the positive first. And yeah. You put on the negative first. And yeah. I did a battery on your mum's car, and um, yeah, I turned the comments off in the end. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing it wrong. You're doing it. Yeah, well, the car's still here. I didn't blow up. So yeah. put yeah. it this way if you haven't blown yourself up or blown up your car, it works. You've, you've done it in some right context, at least. <laughs> Yeah. But that's also why we leave these on because as soon as you then put them on, that's when you know because yeah. you've suddenly got lights. There's a light. And you can push it and then you can tighten it down. And um, I'm, I think I'm still here. Um, the car seems still Should we here. check for fire? Uh, no it's, fire. It's, it's not an electric car, it won't be on fire. <laughs> Meow. <laughs> <laughs> I mean,. I suppose, technically speaking, they're all electric cars in some way. Yeah, looking at that, <laughs> I think Teslas have got less wiring on them. <laughs> the state of that. I yeah. mean, it goes on and on and on. It's, it's relentless. Well, you did um, a video not too well, not too long after we bought these vehicles, doing the uh, wiring for the dash cam. Yes. And I recall, fuse box down there was quite large. The fuse box is <laughs> all under. Yeah, all under this, all yes. this here. You have to take all this off to get to the fuse box, which is, um, yeah, it's like a labyrinth. Yes. Mm. Well, shall we check if it still turns on? Because if it does, I think we can call that a successful job. Well, you have got one more thing to do. Code the battery. Exactly. BMWs have this wonderful system where when you put a new battery on, you have to tell it. Unfortunately, I can actually do that with this. Ooh, <laughs> BIMA code to the rescue. Yeah. <laughs> so we've got... Uh, OBD link already sat in there. There you go. So I shall get on the phone. And you won't be able to see this because he's got the privacy screen on there. <laughs> yeah. We'll see if it can be seen anyway. So if I straighten it up, it should be okay. But you've got, to, I think that's been a link there. Mm -hmm. And in the very center should be the 12V battery. So we click on that and then we just register a new one. So I will do that now, 12V battery. Are we there yet? Battery successfully registered. So what's that through Bimmer Link? It was indeed. Right. Yes. Yeah. So. so that's it. Re-registered. Yep. Yeah, we'll put the uh, bits back on and then take it for a drive. Super. And that should be all good to go at that point. Excellent. There you go. Panel back on. Poppy that's back in. Pop. Cover back on. Final piece. Mm. Excellent. Clear your crap away. Put your boot liner back in. Yeah. It's down there. And it is done. Yeah. Drivey time. Yes. Alright. Put some stuff back in the uh, holders. <laughs> done. Alright, time to take it for a drive. Born to be wild. See you later. Have fun. Bye bye.